Hey it folks, JD here, and today I thought we'd look at the GPS compass calibration of this particular quadcopter. This is the Hubson H507A, the X4 Star. Now, as with all GPS quadcopters, you have to calibrate the compass um, in order to fly the quadcopter properly. Now, Normally you'd have a transmitter and that transmitter itself would talk you through a couple of uh, a couple of the steps. Unfortunately with this quadcopter it doesn't come with a transmitter, but you do have a smartphone app that you can use. Now, we had a little look at this app yesterday and we know that this app works really well. So therefore all I'm going to do is just select the correct quadcopter from here, click enter choice and then it's going to load into the particular application and into the screen that we saw uh, in yesterday's video. Now, with this, obviously, you would expect the quadcopter to be on. Unfortunately, at this stage, the battery is charging ready for tomorrow's flight, so this quadcopter won't be on in this demonstration. But it is quite a simple demonstration. It won't take too long, and it is quite easy for you to follow. So, to be honest with you, all you need to do is, once the, once everything is on, so you've, you've so just let's just go through the steps that you need to um, you need to recreate. So you'd have to put the battery in, turn the quadcopter on, go to your smart device, into the Wi-Fi, connect to the Wi-Fi of this particular quadcopter. Now the, the Wi-Fi password for this is one two three four five six seven eight. Um, that then will allow the quadcopter to bind to your transmitter, and inside this area here, you will see the video being relayed back from this camera on the front here. Now when that is happening your quadcopter is your transmitter is going to say a couple of things it's going to show you a little video right in the middle here and it's going to show the quadcopter spinning and it's going to ask you to please calibrate compass one so all you have to do for that is just turn this quadcopter in a circle until eventually the application does say stop calibrating compass one or calibrate compass one calibration complete and then it'll ask you to calibrate compass 2. Now for that, you'd have to ensure that you know where the camera is on the front of the quadcopter. Turn the quadcopter up so the camera is pointing towards the floor. And then twist the quadcopter like this. And then what that does is it'll calibrate compass 2. Now once you've calibrated compass 1 and compass 2, it will say calibration complete. And then it'll come up with a couple of other prompts on the screen. Things, so what you're going to see after the compass calibration is you're going to see a GPS test. Now, this will test how many satellites you have as well as how far away this transmitter is from this quadcopter. So when you click test, it'll come up and it'll say to you either good, uh, adequate GPS signal or weak GPS signal. If it says weak, then you'll have to wait a little while longer, get a little bit closer to the, tra to the quadcopter and then rerun that test just from the settings menu uh, and others. And then here you've got GPS accuracy test. So... Once you've done that, once it says GPS accuracy is good, and where for the minute it says not connected, it'll say, or no, it'll say motor lock. Then once it says that, you will then be able to take off just by pushing the up button on the transmitter. And then flying around to your heart's content. Uh, obviously, if you do get any issues, now what you normally have is when you take off, what I recommend, especially with a GPS-enabled quadcopter, you take it up to an altitude and you stop it and you let it hang. Now, it, the quadcopter, there's going to be a little bit of movement from side to side, but there shouldn't be any circular movements like this. If there are circular movements, then bring it back down and calibrate the compass again because something has either gone wrong, the compass hasn't calibrated properly, you were too quick to do it, um, or there is interference, magnetic interference, like from um, overhead cables, uh, and obviously try to calibrate this compass in a neutral location somewhere, like say in the middle of a field, that's often good for GPS quadcopters. So with that, thanks ever so much for watching and listening folks, I've been JD, you've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers, I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time my friends, happy flying.